What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. I went and spent a little money on the eBay and ordered us a whole setup of uh, fishing magnets. I swear they come all from the same company. They're all nicely put in one box right here as you can see. Whatever, I got two 500 pounders strength magnets and one I want to say, yeah, 1,200 pound strength magnet. And uh, wherever, these things normally you order one magnet and it comes with a rope and a pair of gloves, but I ordered three, so I got three of everything. And I'm pretty sure these are different strength. Like this is the 1,200 pound rope, so it's thicker. And you get a bottle of thread locker with each magnet for the bolt that screws down in it. And then these ropes are a little bit thinner, thinner ropes, I guess, and they go to the smaller magnets. Then you just get you a couple pairs of old, the waterproof, whatever work gloves. I don't know if I use them or not, I might. So whatever. We'll skip ahead and I'll get all this up. Okay, right here, like I said, hippomagnets.com. That is the 1,200 pound, supposedly. Right here. These are the 500 pound magnets right here. You can see in the size difference that they are a lot smaller. And I don't know if it's true 500 pounds. But there they are. We got our old snatching rope and three bottles of thread locker. And, uh, wait a minute, I'm missing a bottle. Oh, right here. So what are, I'm pretty sure the thread locker's for, which, that one's good and tight. That one is too, but I'm pretty sure it's to put on where this stuff screws in here, like this one. To keep the threads from, uh, coming unscrewed and you losing your magnet in a river or whatever, but I'll do that later. But I have a test. But I got a test for these things. I'm gonna really try them out. I got some dents in my truck and I got the four with the 2,500 pound winch and I'm gonna try to rip the dents out with the magnet, no yanking, maybe not the rope. I'll probably just hook the winch right to it. But we'll see what we can do with them. All right, whatever, this is the dent in my truck. I'm gonna start out with a 500 pound magnet and it just looks kind of weak to me, but uh, I'm pretty sure if the metal is thicker, it might work better. But as you can see, I'm pretty sure it's around, on the side of this truck, maybe, I wanna say 40 pounds max. Like, not even that, maybe 20. It's not pulling it, like I'm thinking. But let me get a, a stronger piece of metal. Like, I got a, a vise over here. I'll stick it to it and see if it'll lift it up. All right, whatever, I got about a 100 pound vise right here, maybe. Let's say this is supposed to be a 500 pound magnet. Let's see what it'll do. Okay, yeah, so the thicker the metal, the stronger it works. Okay, so I was thinking maybe this thin metal doesn't, it's something to do with metal. So now I gotta figure out how to get this off. But that is every bit of uh, probably 100 pounds right there. So uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get this back off, but I might have to hook it to, uh, hook it to something and build it off in the video. Alright, I'm going to try the 1200 pound on the truck. 
and I, I don't think it's gonna stick that good because the metal's thin. I'm scared to stick it to this vise. I'm afraid we won't get it back off. But yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't stick good to the truck. Now, if we had a thick piece of metal throw in the backside, I think it'd do pretty good. But, uh, whatever. Let's stick it to this. It's every bit 1200. Now we gotta figure out how to get it off. So I brought the four wheeler over here. And uh, I'm gonna hook this up. That is my 2500 pound Harbor Freight winch. And we're gonna try to winch it off with it without breaking the wall down in the shop. Hanging on. You got this one. Oh. Okay. It popped off. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, thinner metals don't stick as good as uh, thicker metals. Trying to keep that remote away from there. But uh. Hey, the thing's ain't no joke. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's 1,200 pounds. I forget a scale, but uh, whatever. We're really going to try them out when we go. Uh, let's see what it does on this truck. Okay, yeah. The thinner the metal, the easier it is to get off. So the thicker, the harder it grabs. So if I had like a quarter inch plate or half inch plate, I probably would have to get a puller to pull it off of there. But, uh, Okay, I went ahead and uh, got the magnet stuck on my jack. I got my uh, chain hoist in the ceiling. And uh, whatever, I couldn't get it off with the rope. So I'm going to try. I know it's going to probably, it should pick up the, uh, pick up the jack. So, uh, okay. Add some more weight to this thing and see if it'll hold me and the uh, jack up. I don't lose a toe here. I really should have put on my boots for this. Uh, okay, I don't know how much weight that was. I'm pretty sure that was around, uh, that's like 150. I'm about. 260 so we're looking at close to 350 and it was tough getting it off there so I, maybe if it was thicker steel the thicker the steel the stronger it is the way it looks to me but all righty everybody now we just gotta go try them out in the water that motherfucker held me Whatever, next video, we're probably gonna take them out and actually go magnet fishing. And I got a metal detector I'm gonna put together in the next video that's gonna come out with this one. So y'all can watch that one too. Or right, like and subscribe everybody.